Hey folks, this is Matt Doyle, MLSsoccer.com's armchair analyst, taking a look at three of the keys for the U.S. friendly against Brazil on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. on ESPN. Number one is going to be how the U.S. deals with Brazil's pressure. This is a team filled with young, hungry athletes. It's essentially Brazil's Olympic team. These are all guys who are competing for a spot. It's not a regular friendly for them, and they are going to press the heck out of the U.S. back line. All that time and space that they had to play the ball against Scotland, that's not going to be there. So everything's going to have to be crisper, faster, fewer turnovers. If you turn the ball over against Brazil, it turns into a goal. So that'll be number one. Number two will be defending wide. We saw a really narrow formation, a 4-3-2-1, that the U.S. used against the Scots. They got away with it. I don't want to say they got away with it. They prospered with it. They went into the heart of the Scottish midfield every single time, and they created. Against Brazil, if you do that, you may be able to create something, but at the same time, you give up the flanks, and Brazil wrote the book on how to exploit the flanks. They've been doing it since the mid-80s, maybe even before that. I mean, they've been doing it since Garincha. If you do that against this Brazil team with players like Marcelo over, overlapping, or even Neymar pulling out wide and doing sort of a Fabian Espindola thing, creating from the flanks, you're dead. So expect Landon Donovan on the right and whoever's playing on the left side, it could be Jose Torres again, to stay deeper and wider than they played against Scotland. And the third key, which is always key, but doubly so against Brazil, is final third efficiency. You're simply not going to get the sheer volume of chances that you generate against a Scotland or an Antigua and Barbuda or a Guatemala you'll get chances against those teams. Against Brazil, they get all the credit for their offense, but their defense is superb. They shut it down. The U.S. will get precious few opportunities to advance into the final third. When they do, they have to be crisp, they have to be decisive, and they have to be clinical. If they are, we've seen the U.S. produce against Brazil before. Only one win, but some good performances. If they focus on all three of these keys, and if they hold their lines defensively, we could see an epic U.S. win on Wednesday night.